Hi everyone, it's Martina and today I'm back with another video and today I'm really excited because I'm going to be going over my Stray Kids photo card collection with you guys. If you haven't checked that out already, I've filmed two other videos about my photo card collections, one just SF9 and then the other one with all the other groups I collect, um, so go check those out. I will have them linked down below and up in the corner. Um, so yeah, this is my Stray Kids binder. It is a two inch binder. She is thick. Um, because I unintentionally kind of started collecting OG8. Well, not unintentionally, I have intentionally, but I didn't expect to or plan on originally collecting OT8, but it just kind of happened and now I'm officially collecting OT8. <laughs> Even though I've only been standing Stray Kids since like October, November of like 2020, um, I somehow have the most photo cards of them, and I think I just have- I have a ton of Stray Kids merch. I don't know why. I think I do know why. I think a big reason is, um, it's so like when Stray Kids, they have different albums, the f they have different versions of their albums, but the photo cards between the versions don't change. So for example, for the Clay series, each one of the albums had three versions, including the limited, and the photo cards between them stayed the same. The limited ones have like extra photo cards, but like they still included the regular ones. So when I was buying my albums, I wanted at least one album of like one version of every album. And so I ended up getting a couple duplicates. I honestly didn't get that many, but I did get a couple. And then when I bought my one of my in life albums, didn't come with a photo card. It came with a unit, but not a member photo card, which was quite upsetting. So I had to buy a couple photo cards um, to replace, or I had to buy a photo card to replace that. And then I bought my limited go live used and it didn't come with all the photo cards. So I had to buy the limited edition photo card to replace that and then an additional photo card. So there was three photo cards I needed to buy and then like two or three duplicate photo cards I got from all my album pulls. So I was looking for trades or just to buy new ones. And eventually after looking for so long, I would just sometimes see people selling photo cards for like three dollars two dollars a dollar you know just really good prices and i kind of got a feel for how much the photo cards went for and so if i found those photo cards for a really good price i was just like you know what screw it i'm gonna buy it and then it originally started off with me completing the in life unit cards because i found someone saying like every single unit for a dollar <laughs> so i just bought them and decided you know what i'll complete this then i'm like maybe i should just complete in life and then all of a sudden i was like you know what how about I just collect OT8 for like everything? Um, not the super early stuff. So I was gonna start with the Clay series because that's like not terribly hard to find and also like the prices are typically pretty reasonable minus the limited ones, which we're not even gonna try going into that. But then I loved IMU so much, so I decided to add that on too. But as you'll see, I have like almost nothing for that. Um, I'm not, as of now, collecting mixtape I'm not or I'm who, though I do have some of those photo cards because, like I said, I own the albums and I don't, I'm not going to get rid of the photo cards just because I'm not collecting OT8. So yes, very long intro, but that's, that's kind of how this has happened. And I don't know why, something just about Stray Kids and like people on Instagram and like Twitter and I'm just like, oh, must buy. Um, the front, I just have two of the little pamphlets from the Go Live. I have both of them, and I just kind of put them here, and I think it looks pretty nice. So over here, I just have a couple extra photo cards to use from buying trading. These are what some of the Polaroids came in. This is a folded Yellowwood poster, which I probably won't ever put up because I have newer posters and I don't have room. Also, it has such former member in it, even though I do really like it, so... Yes. Also, I'm going to be sitting down for this, so hopefully everything stays in focus and there's not too much of a glare. So as you can see, we start with mixtape and I am not, and if you've watched any of my unboxing videos, um, I'll have them like linked up here for these. Um, you already know what I got for the most part. These are my mixtape ones. I did end up buying an additional one of Jisung, and then these are I am not, and I bought this Changbin one. Or no, no, it wasn't Jisung. I bought Chan and Changbin. These were the two I bought extra because I found them for really cheap and I just decided to get them with some other photo cards that I wanted because then like the shipping was nothing. This is my mixtape like chan and it's super damaged and it's upsetting and I kind of want another one but also whatever. 
And then these are my baby photo cards. I have Chan and Ian, and um, as you can see, Ian has the curved corners, which I didn't realize until I was sleeving these. So the pointed ones means like first press and the curved ones means second press. But I'm pretty sure I opened up this one before I opened up this one. So like I think they went I think they also like started reprinting with the pointed corners again. So I think new albums printed will be like this too. Anyways, this is what I got off Sub K Shop. So I know they have the pointed corners, at least for my album. So that is that. And then here I do have the I am not units. So I know I'm saying I'm not collecting I'm not because I'm not. But that being said, I do really like the units and I would like to get the unit cards. I know a lot of people don't prioritize or care about units, but I really do like the units. So I have kind of decided this is how I'm going to like lay it out. So these are all like vertical ones. Um, and so these are kind of how I'm planning to just kind of put them. And I don't really know why I decided to put them in this set order, but I did. I think it's kind of an age order, but not really. I don't know. Uh, this is the one I pulled, which has set former member. So I just I just put this little thing I got from someone I traded with. <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna get rid of the card because I have it, you know. Um, and then, sorry. I hope you can't hear that. There's a train going by. Um, if you can, I'm sorry. Um, and then these are the vertical, no, no, sorry, these are the horizontal units, so this is just kind of how I plan on having them. And this are the, the ones I'm missing. As you can see, Chan is in the middle for a lot of these. Um, so I put all of his down here. Um, and then I guess I decided to put three Racha there. I don't know why I decided to put them there. I had a reasoning for why I put these where I put them, but I don't remember exactly why. I made like a whole little table, so anywho. These aren't like a super high priority for me. It's basically if I can find it for a good deal. I know three Racha goes for a lot of money, so I'm not gonna spin that, but if I can find it, I find it, and if not, oh well. Okay, so next I have my um, I Am Who photo cards. So if you watched my hauls, these are just the cards that I pulled. Um, for the most part, I did end up buying this one of Jungin to replace the one I got upset for remember um and it was like two bucks or something um and then I did get this Singman one which I got for free like I bought some photo cards and it was like you could get this one for free if you bought another one which I was like can I get some in because I you'll notice that my Singman collection is pretty much almost all done minus some of these earlier ones that I'm not planning on even collecting so yes also I'm sorry if you can hear noise my roommate is cooking dinner Love that. All right, so next is my IMU page. As you can see, I don't have a lot of IMU photo cards. These photo cards are really expensive and overpriced, so this is one that I am I will finish when I finish. I'm not like in any rush to complete my Stray Kids collection. I'm not going to overspend a photo card just for the sake of completing a collection. So that's how I feel, especially with IMU, because people sell these cards for like 20 plus dollars when they're all still in print. So that's why I only have a couple of them. So as you can see, I have them sorted. So these are like the IMU ones. These are the pink border signature cards. And then these are the name ones here. Okay, so next we have my IMU units, which I'm actually pretty satisfied with my progress on these so far. Um, so the way I decided to order it is I put Lino first because Lino is my number one bias in Stray Kids, um, and he is now, uh, one of my alt biases, and so I just have it organized here, and I have it from age order, so Chan is at the top because he's new, so Chan, Changmin, Hyunjin, Min Song, which I managed to pull, thank the lord, because this goes for ridiculous amounts of money, even though the chances of pulling this are no different than these other ones. Uh, Felix Sungmin and then Jungin at the bottom. And then uh, for my next unit page is going to be my Sungmin units because Sungmin is my second bias and also one of my alts. Um, so since I have my Sungmin and Mino unit over here, there's only six units, but I managed to get a hold of Sungmin's INU pre-order benefit. How? 
How? And you know how much I paid for this? Do you know how much I paid for this? Five dollars. <laughs> I nearly cried when I got that. I've been looking for this photo card. Just any. I would just really wanted any pre-order benefit. But like the fact that I got Suman, like one of my top buys is one of my ults. And for five. Oh my god. I'm so happy. So anywho. I don't have that many Simmons. I do have his Mino one, but like I said, um, I have the same way this is from Age Order. So we have Chan Chongbin, Hyunjin, Jisung, Felix, and Jungin. So that will go on this page. And then this page are all my um, horizontal cards, which are mainly Chan units and then a couple Jisung units. And then I just have these in the order too. So all the Chan ones are at the top. So Chan and Chongbin, Chan and Hyunjin. Han and Chan, another one I pulled. Oh, love this one. Chan and Felix, which I managed to buy for what honestly for me was a little expensive, but I thought it was good because this is another one goes for a lot. Chan Lix. Uh, Chan and Ayan. Han and Changbin, which was one of the photo cards I really wanted because oh my god, they're so cute. Um Han and Hyunjin, and then Han and Ayan. And then this is all the rest of the vertical photo cards, which again are just kind of in age order. So all the Changbin ones, then Hyunjin, and then another uh, Han Felix, and then Felix and I. Okay, this is another one I really wanted. Oh, so cute. Like, oh, he's such a little baby. Anywho, so yeah, I really like those. Um, I have four of the IMU Polaroids. I wasn't planning to collect all eight of these. I just kind of happened to get them. Um, I got Han and... Uh, was it Felix? Or from my albums I pulled. And then I ended up buying two more like already open IMU albums that came with their photo cards. Um, and they came with... Lino and Sungman or Lino and Felix. I can't remember. I know I got Han. It was Han and one of these two are the ones I pulled. Um, but yes, yeah, so I just have these four. Next are my Taiwanese Polaroids. So I have Mino, Han, and Chan. And then I also have this Moreau sticker, which I managed to find from someone I was selling at Sungman's Moreau sticker for $2. And I was like, well, I guess I'm gonna get this. I originally wanted to collect this, and I decided not to collect it because it's kind of overpriced and it's kind of weird. But then I decided if I can find it for a good price, I'd get it. And yeah, I've kind of like almost finished my cinnamon collection, like I said. So I decided, you know what, two dollars, I can't say no. And then these are all of my Taiwan. Uh, photo cards, Felix Changmin, Ayan, and Mino. And here now we start my Moreau, uh, clay, Mar clay one Moreau photo cards. So these I have basically split up into all of the different versions of the photo cards. So as you can see, obviously with this version, I only have two, like the concept or full body ones behind, whatever you want to call them. There's no official name. I only have Chan and Mino right now. I do have some more on the way, but they're not here, so I just have them blank. I always am going to do all of mine in the same order. I leave the middle spot blank. So I'll go Chan, Mino, Changbin, Hyunjin, Jisung, Felix, Sungmin, and Jungin. Um, That's how it always is. So I don't need to label it because I know how it's going to go. So yeah. So this is my first one, so like you can see, I only have Chan and Mino right now in here, but like some more on the way. These are the little Stray Kids logo cards. Again, I have five, but more on the way. I think I will have all but Hyunjin's. I have quite a few cards on the way right now, but I'm just not filming this now. Maybe I'll save those and do like a video where I put them away. My red border cards, I love red border cards. These three are like some of my favorite photo cards of these people. Like this is, I love Mino's border cards, honestly, from Moreau. He's so cute. Like, look at him. I somehow have the exact same for the red and purple borders. Oh, so cute. Okay, next are the black border name cards. Again, I am missing quite a few photo cards. I'm missing like almost all of Hyunjin's photo cards. I feel like I'm missing a lot of his. 
like I said, I mean, I now have decided to collect OTA, but I'm not in a rush and I'm not gonna like overpay. Like I'm not gonna spend 10, 15 plus dollars on an imprint photo card, like no. Um, I am done with uh, Mino's Moreau collection. Um, I don't know if you noticed that, but this is all done. Minus the limited, which I have accepted that I'm probably never gonna get any limited photo cards because they go for a ridiculous amount of money. Next, I have these two little clear photo card things from Moreau, um, and I managed to get both of them, so I have to remember it's on each of them. Um, these are the little stickers, which, sorry, I didn't cover form number space because I didn't think about it. Um, and then these are some of the postcards I managed to get so I have Minos this one's like super heavily damaged but I knew that when I bought it so I got this with like a lot of other things for pretty cheap I have Felix's postcard and then on the back SF Simmons again this is something I was thinking about originally collecting and then decided against it because it's like kind of awkward size but I'm like ah, if I can get it maybe I'll find it same with these little photo cards I have Tongbin, Sungmin, and I am like the pull ones Tongva and Sungmin's have both been opened, but I just have them stuck on here, so I don't really care. Um, Ions have not been open. Um, but yes. And then Yellowwood. These are their concept behind whatever photo cards. Again, I have more coming in for these. I don't have- I don't mark what I have coming in on here. I have photos on my phone of all the templates where I mark them, so... I do know I have quite a few Yellowwood photo cards coming in too because I recently found a couple different people selling like a lot of photo cards and I just kind of bought in bulk from them but yes these indoor uh, ones I only have two um, you know and Felix originally like I didn't pull any of these and I was not going to like I was gonna wait to collect them after until after I like finished or started some of the other ones but i just decided to start it this outdoor one i have almost complete and i am am i i thought i'm getting one more in um i just saw this changbin one from someone they said it was minorly damaged they sent me a video and i was like that looks more i was like um is it crease on top and they're like no and then it got here and it was way more than minorly damaged but like i guess you can't really tell in here that much when it's like this also, like, it got returned in the mail, so they just sent it out twice, so they spent, like, a good amount of shipping, and it was cheap, so I'm like, whatever, but when you want to rebuy that, um, here are my yellow wood, or not my yellow wood, my yellow borders, and these are black borders, again, more coming in for each of these, I think Chan looks super cute in this photo, it's just me, um, and then I have these limited ones. I just traded someone for this one. It should be coming in. I gave traded this one for the avatar version of this. Again, sorry, I haven't covered up set four members' name in those photos, but I should do that. Here are my Levanter concept ones. I have everyone on the way except for Minos. Minos is the last one I need. I have all my Levanter collection done for Mino other than that and the Lenticular, but again, it's expensive, so I probably won't ever find that. Um, I thought I had it, but they had sold it right before I was bummed. But I have the other two on the way, which I love Levanter. I think they all look super cute. I have these indoor cards. This is one of my favorite Mino ones. I love that photo card. The name version, I've chomped on all the way, so this will be done soon. Um, this is one of my favorite Jonghyun photo cards and just photo cards in general. He is so freaking cute, especially with his pink hair. Like, oh my gosh. Also, this was like a really kind of hard photo card to find, which I was surprised. Because typically, Jonghyun's not super hard to find. But like, this one was super hard for me to find. And it was always either super overpriced or sold out. So I guess I'm not the only one who finds this photo card super adorable. Blue borders. And then this is where I have my gray borders and lenticular. This one both on the same page because I have two gray borders. I do have two of Jungin's photo cards. I ended up finding or buying one for like 
seven bucks i like i messaged someone and they told it was like pending sale like they said so someone else was trying to talk about it. and then i found another one i bought it and then that one became available and i was like you know what sure i'll get both of them so now i have two dong and photo or lenticulars and like i want to trade one for someone else but i feel like it'll be difficult to trade him but we'll see so i and then i also have time and so on so i have three lenticulars which honestly i'm really happy about that but yeah, so if anyone wants Jungin and has literally any other member that I'm missing, please let me know. I would be, like, I would love to trade with you. Like, you, I got my, like, Twitter down below. I'll even, like, my, like, um, Instagram down below. Um, please let me know. <laughs> also, if anyone has, like, any of the photo cards, like, especially, like, Moreau Limited or... Uh, I am you pre-order benefit that is not like ridiculous amounts of money. Please let me know. I would love it. Um, these are like random kind of Polaroids. Not super random, but originally it was just going to be photo books, but then I got these random ones. I didn't know where to put them. So this is Stay in London, which I managed to find off someone off Depop, and they were selling it for a really good deal of shipping, and it came with all the photo cards. So we came to Chan, Hyunjin, and Han, and then Lino's Polaroid, oh my god. And then I bought Stay Playground off of Mercari, and it came with Changman and Sungman's Polaroids. Um, I had been looking at this, whoever was selling this, for like a really long time, and it kept the price finally went down low enough where I was like, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and buy it. Um, and then I managed to get this Mino Polaroid from, oh gosh, I don't even know what from, Unveil? Mm, I don't know, um, and these like two District 9 full group Polaroids. I got these with some seller. Some seller was selling a bunch of random miscellaneous Stray Kid stuff and I needed some of it so they were selling this, one of the Sungmin, um, the pole thing from Yellowwood, Mino's Polaroid, or Mino's postcard for Yellowwood. Um, and then like part of the Moreau thing, they were just selling a lot of stuff and I was like, for a good price, I was just like, you know, sure, I'll buy it. And I was like, also, I get Mino's cool Polaroid, so I didn't know where to put it. It was either here with Taiwanese stuff, so I just put it here. Stay in London literal sticker things. Um, this District 9 Japan? District 9 Unlocked Japan? I think, I don't remember exactly which one, but the black version, again, I found someone selling this on Depop. Every single photo card for like $12 shipped, which was crazy um, because I see people normally selling each like one of these for like, you know, six to $10. Um, I'm really happy I could find this because like I said, this, these came out before I stood Stray Kids, so it's hard to find it. I wish I could find, I really want to find like the light, like the pastel florally ones because I love those, but I'm very happy I got these. Here are my Japanese cards. So I have these two from um, Top, um, SKZ 2020, and then All In. I'm super stoked I managed to pull these. If you watched me open this, I was like super concerned because I got like, um, just the group one for the top that I opened on camera live and I was a little disappointed, but I mean, still super happy because I didn't have it. So honestly, like they all look amazing. But then I was opening this and I found out my like album was cracked and I was really bummed. I'm like, oh my God, I spent so much money on this album. It's not gonna have a high touch. And it did. Oh, loved it. If you wanna watch it, I'll have it linked up in the corner down below. Okay, so now I get into go live. I just decided to put these group photo cards in the middle. And I know some people have a hard time figuring out which one of these selfies, which one of these um, black back selfies go where. And I'm telling you, this is the correct order, okay? I, don't, I mean, you can do what you want, but this is the way it should be. The outfits they're wearing here, I'm, I know I'm missing Hyunjin and Han, but these outfits match the outfit here, okay? So Felix is wearing this like lime green jacket, you know, or why did I say, you know, Ayan's wearing the beret. Chan's in the white jacket. Han has this black jacket. Hyunjin's in the purple jacket. Mino has this headband. Sungman's in the red. And Chungman has this hat on with this top. Okay, they're all the same. And then these ones are the opposite ones. And also they match um, 
these outfits match what they are wearing in the um, film strips. So you can see Mino, or why do I keep calling I and Mino? They don't look at me they like. Jungin is wearing in this black jacket, which he's wearing here. Seungmin's wearing the smiley face top, which he's wearing here. Um, Mino's wearing this white hat. Changmin is wearing this black jacket with no hat, etc. So, yes, that is how it goes. Also, these outfits match their standees, if you have those as well. Which, I do have my standees, but I have two. I have Seungmin's and then Changmin's, which Changmin's came with that, like, miscellaneous thing. Um, but I folded them up to have them on my shelf, which there's no room. So yes, I have missing all, I have all but two for each one of these. These are just double-sided ones. I, these are really like hard to come by slash overpriced or not necessarily even overpriced, but I'm just not willing to spend them much. So I just kind of combine them to this page. So these are the hoodie ones and these are like the, um, uh, oh my God, what's it called? I can picture, what's that music video? On track music video, oh my God, on track. Um, and I don't have the hoodies at the front because it does bother me that not everyone's, one, not everyone's on an orange background, and two, not everyone's wearing a black hoodie. So that's how we do it. And then these are my limited photo cards, which I'm super happy I managed to get four. I just got this Chongu one recently. Like, what? Especially this Mino one. I got this one for like six or seven dollars, which is like already a good deal. And especially like Mino is like, he's been being overpriced recently. So very happy with that. Um, and then these are on track, single-sided. I have all the little film strips and the little lyric pamphlets here. And then I have all the go live pre-order Polaroids, which I have completed all of them finally. I just got Changna, woo! Again, I wasn't gonna originally complete this, but then it just kinda happened, so yes. Um, and then these are in life pre order benefits. I just have four. I just have Mino Han, Sungmin, and Jungans. So, and I just kind of fold them out to see more of them. I might try to complete this if I can find them for cheap, but I might not. In life, I'm almost done. I'm so close to my in life collection. I'm just missing this Han, which again, I keep seeing this one, but it's just so overpriced whenever I find it. I don't want to spend that. This is a pre-order benefit which, or pre-order photo card, which I managed to get from someone for like $5 off Instagram. I think it's like the Apple Music one. It's Changmin, so I just placed it there in the middle. These are the double-sided ones and like the uniforms. I don't really know what to call them. And then these are like the double-sided ones and like hangbok. I don't really hangbok, like the robes, fancy ones. I like these a lot. Sianjin one will be the death of me. Oh my God, but yes. And then the units. This is what started off my collecting habit. Love them. Um, these doors. I have Han and Sungmin. I bought a lot of photo cards from someone and they said I could have something for free, so I chose this Sungmin border card. I bought this Sanara Mino you know, pre order benefit cheap off someone on Instagram. This is the little folded bit. I have the um, crown version postcard and one of the bookmarks from the limited the other two bookmarks then we're getting into go live in life concert merch all right sorry the reflection's bad on here but i have the complete lenticular photo card set i'm not sure if it's making it better or worse um okay so my phone died while i was filming so the back half of the video got cut off but basically, next we have all the Unlock Go Live and Life Polaroids, which you also already have seen if you watched my unboxing of these um, concert goods because I was finally a stay at that time. And then I got Chong Ben's um, binder Polaroid, of course, because I literally always pull Chong Ben for everything except actual album photo cards, Korean album photo cards, I should say, everything else. I always feel like I pulled Changmin. And then I have, these are the Polaroids I got for one for every single item I purchased. Um, after I filmed that video, I ended up buying the sweatshirt. Um, 
or after I placed my initial order, I should say, I ended up buying the sweatshirt, and I got a second one of this Mino photo card, or Polaroid, I mean. Um, I tried for a really long time to find a trade for it on Instagram, like, and Twitter, like, over a month, but I couldn't. And so, um, I eventually settled to trade for this Hyunjin, which is also super cute, and he is holding a tennis ball. Then this, I mean, I got these Stray Kids All In goods from Stray Kids Japan. I joined a group order, and I'm so happy I did because look at them! Oh my God, they look so good. He looks looks like he's straight out of an '80s movie. I freaking love it. I also ordered the playing cards and love them. I decided to put the uh, face cards in here. All the other ones are nothing special, but oh man, I love the way they look in all so much. And then I have all these ones. Then I have Seasons Greetings, where I have the photo cards, and of course got Changbin's um, Polaroid. And then these, whatever these are, I don't know what they're called, the film cards maybe? Whatever they're called. Um, and I just taped them, I sleeved them and taped them to these white pieces of paper because they move around a lot. These little postcard things and then we have the skzx love stay first fan meetings um i managed to find these tiny tiny little sleeves like can you see these they're so little i managed to find these at my local game store at my mall they're definitely meant to like for some other card game not for k-pop but i was like oh my god these are so little so i can put my id photo cards in and then i can t i tape these um to the paper on the back so that way they stay and I'm now they're protected I'm super happy and then I have the tickets um which I also managed to uh find sleeves for um when I was at that same game store they had these big photo sleeves so they just barely fit the tickets um not really but I say they do. I mean, if you can see, they go to right here. So the very bottom part's showing out, but it's better than nothing. Um, I thought about putting white on here to tape them to, but the backs are too pretty. Like, I can't, I can't cover that up. So yeah, I really like these, other than being like an awkward size. If I could find something that held like six, that would be like the perfect size, but I don't need that for really much, so they're fine just like this and then of course my Polaroid so I have my first eight and then my second eight beautiful love them all and then these are some like fan made photos I printed off from their Clio photos um back when I thought Clio was a decent company and now <laughs> you know um, so I just give these out as freebies with people I trade with or buy or sell to, I mean. Um, I took out the Clio logo, so, yeah. <laughs> these are what they look like. And yes, they do look very nice. They do have nice quality photos. Hopefully Henry comes back soon. But yes. So anywho, that concludes my Stray Kids photo card collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry, it was a long video. Like I said, I have a lot of stuff. I decided to collect OT8. As you can see, I still have a long way to go, but I'm attempting to collect them. I'm, again, not in any rush, so that's why a lot of them aren't super full, because, like I said, I don't like spending tons of money on photo cards just for the sake of completing a collection. I'd rather wait and find the photo cards for cheap than spend like $10, $15 on them. So that's just me. Anywho, like I said, uh, if you haven't checked out my other videos, go check them out down below where I have my other photo card collections. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more content. Also, let me know if you guys collect Stray Kids, who you collect. Do you collect a certain member? Do you collect OT8? Uh, do you collect a certain... Um, eras. I know some people just collect like selfie photo cards. Let me know. I'd love to hear about your collections as well. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! Don't let it fall apart and more than God said. Can't you care? Joy, you're not a good day. Don't let it fall apart and hand out.
나도 잊지 말아줘 nothing 나의 모든 조각들이 다 yeah. 사라지면 뭐가 남을까 yeah. 하나하나 잃어갈 때마다 하나 둘씩 떠나갈 때마다 커져 초조한 빈칸